Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, Musalatu wassalamu ala Rasulillah. Understand Quran and Salah, the easy way, three minute series, lesson 11b, in which we will study Arabic grammar and also take 10 dialogues. From the first lesson till the end of this one, we have covered 38 words which occur almost 14,000 times in the Quran. A word in Arabic can be one of the three. Ism, noun. Fi'il, verb, or harf, a particle. Any word which is not a noun or a verb is a harf or a particle. For example, li or la means for, min, from, ala, on, an, that, inna, indeed, and so on. Let's take the first one which is li or la. The best example is alhamdulillah, all praise and thanks are for Allah. Since li and la means for, so lahu will be for him. Lahum for them. Laha for her. Can you translate with actions please? Lahu for him. Lahum for them. Laha for her. Can you repeat after me with actions? Lahu, lahum, laha. Lahu, lahum, laha. MashaAllah. Now, before going for dialogues, let's take a new word, a, which is a question word. For example, if I say, ahada, is this, and so on. Suppose I find our friend's book, then I will ask, is this for him, ahada lahu, and you will say, naam, ahada lahu. Let's extend that argument, ahada lahum. Naam hada lahum. Ahada laha. Naam hada laha. Can you answer in Arabic? Ahada lahu. Naam hada lahu. Ahada lahum. Naam hada lahu. Ahada laha. Naam hada laha. Now let's talk about you and me. Laka. Laka means for you. Li for me, lakum for you all, lana for us. Can you translate with actions? Laka for you, li for me, lakum for you all, lana for us. Now repeat after me in Arabic only with actions. Laka li, laka li, lakum lana, lakum lana. Let us use the same style of dialogues. So if I say, Ahada laka, is this for you? You will say, Naam, hada li. Ahada lakum, is this for you all? Naam, hada lana. Once again, Ahada laka. Naam, hada li. Ahada lakum. Naam, hada lana. MashaAllah, that's it for now. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.